And here's one way to showcase that natural transition as we go from the left to the right, a V-shaped valley that has been over time modified by uh, water, creating even a deeper uh, V-shaped valley that then in a glacial period, and during an, an era uh, of very, very cold temperatures, but of course some high precipitation, we're then going to see a different shaped valley that's created, a U-shaped valley, and so eventually when that glacier melts, we'll see at the, at the, over there at the right that the V-shaped valley has become a U-shape. Other reasons we can get cracks and crevices is just simply if we think about folding, uh, we think about tension being released uh, from plate tectonics, and so this is just a simple way to understand, okay, well, how can we have cracks in the surface that then eventually can become river valleys? Well, that's just one simple way to showcase that is with folding or uplift, all those various plate tectonic processes we've already talked about. Here we see V-shaped valleys, which are a clear indicator of, once again, uh, river erosion. Here we have a cirque. Uh, and so a cirque is where we're going to have snow collecting. Uh, and so snow might go down that steep slope and collect here in this uh, cirque. And so this bowl over time gets deeper and deeper and deeper, especially if we go through a, a very, very cold, but also uh, a very, very snowy, icy period. It's a good way to showcase and emphasize the whole kind of chain reaction of weathering, erosion, transportation, and deposition. So originally we got the freeze thaw that would occur up in these upper uh, parts of the uh, of this mountain or this upland. Uh, and so what that's going to do, is physical weathering processes, is going to create shattering and then create these sharp angular fragments. Further, plucking, uh, because we're going to get this downslope, and this ice is going to be moving downslope, of course, is then going to take that shattered angular fragments and pluck it away, remove it, uh, and further uh, create this situation where we have erosion that then further brings uh, this pluck broken down rock bits uh, down to the bottom where we're going to get that smoothing to occur as other bits of rock rub up against other bits of rock. But eventually this glacier is going to move all this uh, broken down sediment to the front of the glacier where we have this deposition that's going to eventually collect here at the end. And another way to showcase these cirques, how they grow, and so over time a snowy period, and so these bowl-like depressions, they grow. And eventually coming out of that depression is the glacier as it moves down slope. Uh, and it typically goes into those valleys that were previously rivers, which we can see now here has reached its maximum. So we can see uh, this, this period of glaciation has been quite intense. But like I've said before, way before humans were here, uh, we would have these warming periods uh, that would leave behind uh, the features that were created from uh, glacial erosion. So key to understanding glaciers also is the fact when the ice melts, it leaves behind these very distinctive features, including these U-shaped valleys that we see here. Uh, so these distinctive characteristic shaped valleys, even the gray ones, would be these U-shaped, uh, unlike the rivers that produce V-shaped valleys. Now here, take us back to this slide here. It takes us back to this whole idea of movement, transportation, deposition, and so forth. So that what happens when all of that water is removed, when all of that ice is removed, uh, what's going to happen is we're going to have that sediment that's just essentially going to fall in place at the end of that uh, that previous glacier that we saw in the previous image. Um, so essentially what's going to be created then there is what we call a terminal or end moraine. Uh, further, in that cirque, in that depression, of course, what's going to fill that depression, that very low-lying area, is water. Uh, and so the melt waters, maybe from that glacier or from uh, other glaciers further upslope, will then fill that depression, and we call that a tarn.